Hi everybody, it's Nick again. And uh, look, what have we got today? You've got a really nice, very simple snacky tea. Uh, I'm not going all out this evening. Uh, I've bought some bits in. Uh, I'm going to show you what those are. And um, we'll we, we tell you what we're going to have. We're going to have sausage roll, chips and beans. Uh, a nice, nice, easy one. So, what's on the menu? Well, look, you can see here, I've got the potatoes ready for the chips. Uh, I've got a nice, uh, easy roll puff pastry sheet. All right, so that's that's done already. I've got some Branston pickle uh, and this block here. Uh, this is actually uh, some sausage meat. Um, I've got a couple of herbs as well. So I've got uh, some mixed herbs here, look, and some Italian style uh, blended herbs. So, uh, you know, I might chuck a few little extra bits in there uh, as well. Okay, so look, the first thing I've done is I've cut up uh, my chips, all right? So um, I've just cut the potatoes up. If you want to use a chipper, use a chipper. Uh, if you want some nice chunky chips, then yeah, get some chunky chips. Now I'll just give the potatoes a wash. Uh, they've got the skins on still. Um, so I've put them in a bowl, as you can see. I'm just shaking them around to loosen them up a little bit. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I've, I've made this. Uh, so this is a um, black pepper and salt mix and I've uh, sort of ground this up quite finely. Um, so I'm gonna put in some uh, oil, this is cooking oil, so a little bit of oil there so it'll stick and stay. I put that into, uh, into the bowl there. Uh, and just bring that down a second so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of this salt and pepper in uh, that I've done, a little bit of that, and chuck it around a little bit. And it should start to, should start to stick and mix it up. And mix it around. Uh, I'll put a little bit more because you like that. You know, if you want to, uh, you can put pretty much anything you want on there. So I showed you earlier. I've got some mixed herbs. Um, well, if you want to put the mixed herbs uh, on uh, on your chips, uh, that's fine. Okay, stick them in a pan uh, there, like that. So yeah, your yeah, oven pan. Uh, remember, I've got the oven on. Uh, all right, so I've already done that. Uh, that's set at uh, at 200. That makes it nice and simple because we're going to put the sausage rolls in at the same time. Chips will take about 30, 35 minutes uh, at uh, 200. Uh, that's a, a fan oven. Um, and what we're going to do is look at them after about 15 minutes uh, and uh, give them a bit of a shake and a bit of a, a, a move around. Right, chips are now in the oven, so they're going to cook really nicely. Uh, the next bit is the sausage rolls themselves. So we're going to have the sausage meat. Uh, and what I've done is I put the sausage meat uh, inside the bowl uh, already. OK, um, yeah, I've got to be honest, I haven't washed out the bowl uh, in between the potatoes and the sausage meat. If it was the other way around, I would have done. Uh, but uh, it doesn't matter on this. Uh, this is going to be nice because we're going to be putting some uh, uh, Branston pickle in there and some herbs as well. So. It doesn't matter that you've had the uh, potato in there before with the with the black pepper and uh, salt mixture. Okay, so what I've done is I've got the sausage meat, I put it in the bowl, and then I have added two tablespoons of Branston pickle. You can see I've got the small chunky bun uh, there, uh, and I've also used uh, the Italian style herbs uh, that uh, that I showed you earlier. There's a tablespoon of those. And literally got my hands in there and mixed it all together. All right, so all I've done is I have put uh, the pastry down, uh, rolled it out. There you can see the sheet, and I split it into six. I'm going to try and make six sausage rolls uh, out of this. Uh, the amount of pork meat that we had, uh, well, there was 454 grams, which I think is a good old-fashioned pound actually. So I'm just going to try and do this uh, with one hand for a second. Uh, so literally, this is this is what we're doing with, with all six. Get some sausage meat, uh, stick it in the middle there, and then you'll see we're just gonna roll it up, right? It's a sausage roll. So uh, back when I've done all six. Wow, here we go. So that was it, look. Now, there's a couple of ways you could do this uh, when you do the sausage rolls, right? So you can see all I've done is I've done it nice and easy. Uh, I've just folded it over and uh, uh, the sausage is in the middle. If you want to, you can seal uh, these parts here. Uh, okay, so the, seal the seals, the edges, uh, with uh, with a beaten egg. Uh, okay, so just, just get your egg and, and beat the egg. Uh, and then what you'll do is you'll uh, put the beaten egg over the top there. Now that makes it really nice and 
uh, sort of puffy and crispy. It's really, really nice. Um, I've done none of that. Uh, so all I've done is it's, it's really dry. What you can see uh, is there's something on the top uh, and it's a little bit of uh, oregano uh, and it's ready to go in the oven. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So the chips are doing. Um, and we're going to put them in the oven, same oven, um, for around about 15 to 18 minutes. So when it's cooking, let me give you a quick recap on what we had. So I had some potatoes for the chips, um, that's about 500 grams, you know, cut them up how you want. Uh, nice and chunky, a little bit thin, do some flat chips if you want to. Uh, but then uh, there was about 450 grams, so about a pound of uh, sausage meat in there as well. A uh, couple of tablespoons of the small chunk Branston pickle uh, that we had in there. And then uh, I had a, a Italian mixed herbs or just some mixed herbs uh, that I put in there as well. And that was uh, a tablespoon. Uh, and uh, oh, don't forget on the chips as well, I had my salt and pepper mix. So if you just want to grind up some salt and pepper, that's absolutely fine. So some black pepper uh, and salt, uh, that's all you need. Uh, don't forget the oil uh, as well. Uh, I had the um, pre-rolled uh, sheets, a bit of a cheat sheet there with the, with the puff pastry uh, as well. Um, and I've got some oregano right at the end. So, and that's just a, a sprinkling of oregano. Um, and I think that's all I put in so far. Um, it's still in the oven, smelling pretty good. Uh, show you what it's like later. Um, and don't forget the baked beans as well. Right, everything's done. It's come out of the oven, so the chips are uh, chips are done. Chips done lovely, actually. So really, really pleased with those. And the sausage rolls, you can see that they they split. I didn't seal them up. Okay, I'm fine with that. It doesn't matter. Um, there's a couple here that didn't, so they were uh, they're okay. Uh, you know, so look, I, I, it doesn't matter. We're going to eat them. That's all we're going to do. Uh, so they look absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you it plated up in a minute. Well, there it is. Look, there's the, the two meals, uh, sausage roll, chips and baked beans. Uh, if you make this, uh, I really hope you enjoy it. You know, add the herbs, take the herbs away. Uh, if you want to put in some smoked paprika uh, on the, the, the chips instead, or you, you just make your own, you know, make it your own. Add or take away some herbs and spices. Uh, but uh, whatever you do, enjoy. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time uh, when we cook up uh, some more grub.